Hello and welcome, Faintly Saintly here, and this is Bingle Bingle. And as you can probably tell by this graphic here, this is a roulette-based game. Seems to be somewhat inspired by Bellatro, I won't, I won't say it is necessarily a copy, because who knows how long this has been in development for. But it is, from my understanding, a roguelike roulette game. So imagine just replace the poker in Bellatro with roulette and your modifiers affect the wheel. Now, I haven't played this one yet, so I'm going to give it a try. It's like the ball side of the token to spin the wheel. Wonderful. Normal ball, multiplier, okay. Your square is displayed up here. You will score each time you roll a ball. The score is calculated by points times chips placed. Ah, oh, right, so you, you bet. Okay. This is your target score for the round. If you reach target score, the round will be cleared and you'll be able to move on to the next round. So, essentially blinds from Bellatro. Select the bet side of the token to place chips. If the ball goes into the pocket with chips, you get a higher score. Each pocket has 10 chips placed by default. Select a colour to place 20 chips. Black. Now, 20 chips are added to the selected colour, meaning you will get a higher score when the ball goes into the pockets of that colour. The bets placed in each round are shown here. Chips placed by bets last round until... Uh, last until the end of the round, so you can score multiple times with those chips for that round. Now roll a ball again. What are the odds? Let's see. Round clear. After each round, you get some coins and visit the shop. The shop coins can be spent to upgrade your tokens and wheel. Buy one of the balls with special abilities. Roll the ball freezing pockets nearby. Before rolling, select a range of pockets where the ball will land. Click the token to apply the new ball. You can also upgrade the level of tokens to increase the token's base points and chips. After you're done with shopping, click this button to move to the next round. Since the chips last place last round, let me try again. Since the chips place last and <laughs> can't read. Since the chips placed last until the end of the round, it's usually better to place bet first. Don't read this time. The discard button allows you to discard tokens and draw new ones. Right, there's the target ball. You can choose a at about a quarter of the wheel to land on. I'll say there. Nailed it. Okay, nine cents. What's this? You can also upgrade your wheel by buying a new pocket. Go 15. Right. When a token reaches a certain level, its abilities are also enhanced. Also, bets sold in the shop, which you can apply to tokens. If none of the options appeal to you, re-roll with the shop for two coins. Bet on one vertical line. I see. Uh, sure. Right, I see. Okay. Remember, all coins disappear when you leave the shop, so you cannot save for the next round. Well, I can't buy anything for one, so... When round tokens run out before you reach the target score, you will lose the game. I see. I'm gonna go red. Oh, 
Roll the ball. Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Three hundred. The normal ball base ten. Oh. Oops. Oh, that's okay. Ground clear. This is uh. Any roulette could be so uh interesting, <laughs> I suppose. I'm not really a gambler, so maybe that's not a surprise to some people out there. There are items available for you to buy in the shop. The items assist your gameplay with their own ability. First bet of each round has base chips plus 40, where no discard is left, plus 10 points to the ball. I'll do the Pioneer. If you don't have enough coins to buy the item you want, you can lock the shop to purchase it next round. Wonderful. Okay, so Pioneer is in effect. I'm gonna go red. Go. Okay, so that's 10 times 10. What's that extra from that? So it's 701 spin, that's pretty good. Um, It's not quite sure if I run out of these, it's that I lose, right? But I can discard them early and swap them out for the other. There you go. Target. Target ball. 20 base points because that's a different kind of bet, wasn't it? I oh, know one of the others was a different kind of bet. Never mind. You're still on red. Been on red twice, <laughs> basically. Oh, hang on, I can put all those chips on, can't I? Now on, boss will appear every four rounds. Freeze four pockets. Copy a token from your deck. Remove one token from your deck. I'm gonna freeze. Here's what I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna freeze this one. This one, this one, and this one. It'll become a red friendly zone. So we'll consider reds to be the flush of this game because in Bellatro, flush was just easy out. So I'm just going to abuse red, I suppose. Bet on two numbers. Roll a ball that can change the pocket it lands in. Roll a high value ball. Most frequent numbers on the wheel will always be offered in the shop. First two rerolls are free at the shop. I get a high value ball. Okay. I'll increase the value of that ball as well, I suppose. Reroll. Bailout. When round tokens run out, re revive with three additional round tokens. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Hover over the target score to see the stage's boss ability. Boss will appear at the final round of the stage. Some of them can be deadly to your build, so prepare yourself. Add five basic tokens into your tokens for this round. Okay. That might make it harder to get my high value token, right? I don't know what these ones do. Right. So naturally I will bet red. And I'm going to bet red. And I might even bet red. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it didn't even land in my red trap over here, but lucked out. Okay, halfway there. Oh, okay. 
okay. <laughs> Using the token runs out of tokens. I assumed I would have had to have lost that spin to run out of tokens. So I can just bet all my tokens and loot instantly. Okay, good to know. Archer class unlocked. Bullseye knows where the, where the final shot lands. Interesting. <laughs> Well, I'm not satisfied with that. We need to go again. Okay. So, when you only have one round token left, you can see where the next ball will land. Three tokens are upgraded. These tokens cost plus one coin to be upgraded. And a rare item, get 20% less score for the first three rounds. 20, plus 20 points in the first round. Five rerolls are free at first shop. Got a random box. For each different bet, gain 15% more score. Let's discard that for some reason. There we go. It's doing the uh, hard work for me, isn't it? Okay, even with that little uh, penalty, we got there comfortably, which is good. Eight cents. File low. Okay, that's a new bet type. Roll multiple balls, but token is destroyed after use. Roll a ball that can change the pocket it lands in. Oh, that's only for the round, so it will come back. It's not permanently destroyed. After buying or upgrading less than twice in the shop, then 15% more score permanently. After buying or upgrading less than twice in the shop. Okay. I've got a multi ball. Seems fun. And do I just start changing the reds to blacks? Oh, I won't save any of that. Let's go. Multi ball, let's go black. You can go black as well. Ah, oh, it's rigged. Ah, oh, I overrode my multi ball. That's disappointing. trying to get my head around how this all works. Um, let's just do that. Alright, it's going to land on the 26. I think we're good. By the way, it's the last ball, isn't it? I'm not going to get this score. Where am I? Three blacks. There we go. Nicely done, nine cents in the pocket. Bit or even or odd. We'll get another multi ball. Do it. That'll do. Really should start upgrading some of these. Even odd. I don't think that'll help me right now. We'll move on. And I'm black. Is this still an effect? 20% less score for the first three rounds. Yes, it is. Okay, multi ball. Fragile. Oh, I love that. And they're all on black, are you kidding me? <laughs> Numbers go up. 
Beautiful. I like that multi ball. 11 cents. Bet on six numbers horizontally. When winning a dozen bet, plus 10 points. When a ball lands on a pocket containing number two, plus five chips permanently. Well, uh, maybe I'll upgrade. Upgrade the multi balls. I will roll, but on three numbers horizontally. I don't really love that. It's not the black one, so I'll just pop that there. Hmm. I mean, it benefits me with my little item here for each different bet, gain plus 15% score, but three numbers horizontally, I don't know how that's helpful. We'll have to go with that for now. Oh, the boss. Antrim, every time you discard a token, your tokens are shuffled. I can live with that. I'm gonna do that. Go into the black trap there. Okay. Halfway there, multi ball. Got two black bets on, let's just go with that. Only two this time. is that every round your first used token is registered clear one round using only the registered token okay clear four rounds with only spinning the wheel once oh these are quests and rewards I see Plus one point per unused coin. Coins from class ability is doubled. The four rounds only spin the wheel once. How's that gonna go? But the first ball is rolled three times as a reward. That with a multi ball would be mental. I just don't see how these are gonna work for me. I'll just try that, I guess. Not the multi ball. Gain one discard when you draw a heart ball after discarding. You know what? Multi ball me. And upgrade him as well. Heart ball. If the ball didn't win any bet, instead of scoring, gain back a round token. Fragile after a few uses. No, we're good. I can't use this because... If I bet with that chip, that ball's gone, right? Can't rotate it, I guess. Bit on black. Ooh. What does this card do for me? There we go. Okay. Uh, I've got two on black. I'll spin the multi ball. Two that time. None in my trap over here. Okay. 
Certainly not uh, winning this quest. Leave four rounds, only spinning the wheel once. Not a chance. Discard you. Got another multi ball. Another two. Yeah, we'll just speed that up a little bit. Oh, we've made it. Lovely. May as well do that. Bet on one number. <laughs> oh, a multi ball. Can't afford that and Pioneer. Pioneer would be good. I'm just addicted to the multi ball here. Probably a terrible, terrible strategy. You know what? I don't care. Whoa. Incredibly fast. That's bad. Only one black there. Do that time. Last one. Made it. I don't know if that's. I mean, that's really fast, but that's not satisfying at all. At all, is it? <laughs> okay. Target ball would be good. I could just target that range. Target ball. That'll do. Done it, but I don't feel like this is um, scaling very well for me because I'm getting closer and closer to that target. If one of us in a square multi ball, anyone? You know what? From now on, special bets appear in the shop. And I'll upgrade that as well. <laughs> Terrible idea. When multiple balls are rolled at once, only one ball gets to Are you trying to screw with me, monkey? Ape, gorilla, whatever you are. How am I supposed to beat that? Only one ball. My whole points were coming from my multi balls. That's terrible. That's just going to kill me. Unless I... Okay, it's landing on black. Ugh. Game over. So that boss, unfortunately, just completely killed my build, but anyway, part of the fun, isn't it? Game over. So we unlocked something. I don't think that's persistent. That's right. Anyway, so this is Bingle Bingle, uh, roulette deck builder, I guess. Um, yeah, I've just noticed on Steam, I thought, oh, this is just a Latro Mark II. Could be the next big thing, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description. So if you like this one, yeah, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me a lot. Keeps you up to date when new videos drop. And uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any feedback or suggestions for games you'd like to see me to play. 
So thanks again for watching. I'm Faintly Saintly, and I'll see you next time.